Hi, I hope you're well and thanks for coming to the channel. Today I'll be showing you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to replace Dell laptop battery. Uh, this model here is P35G and when I turn on the computer um, I see an error message that pops up. It says your battery has experienced permanent failure and needs to be replaced. Strike the F1 key to continue, F2 to run setup utilities. So this indicate that the battery is dead and it needs to be replaced. And there's a, also one way to find out is as soon as I pull the power charger and the computer will just die meaning that the battery is not holding the charge at all. So in this video, you're going to see step by steps and I'll show you how to replace the battery. And at the same time, you get to see on how to replace um, the hard drive as well as the RAM. There are two tools that you would need for this would be a regular Phillips screwdriver and also a prying tool. Here at the bottom, you would see four rubbers. And on the top, you will see three of them. One, two, and three. Get a prying tool, pry open the rubber. Once you have that removed, the screw is exposed and go ahead and remove them. Okay, for those of you who wants to increase the RAM, this is where you're going to change the RAM. They are DDR3. And by looking at it, it says PC3L, meaning that there's a DDR3 RAM. So this is a 4 gigabytes. And this one here is 2 gigabytes. PC3L, which is the DDR3 RAM. Okay, at this moment, once you remove that, you can go ahead and slide the uh, CD ROM. There's one screw here. Go ahead and remove that. And once you remove the, the RAM on this slot, you're going to see a screw that is covered by the plastic. You want to remove this screw.
Once you have that removed, go ahead and turn around the laptop. And you want to get onto the keyboard. You can see the three tabs, a very tiny tabs here. You want to kind of press the tab, go inwards to pop the keyboard out. Okay, once you have the keyboard, do not pull the keyboard because you need to disconnect the cable first. Okay, do not pull the keyboard. Make sure you disconnect the cable by lifting up the white plastic. It's like a clipper right here. So when you lift it up, the keyboard will just come right out. There are four screws that holds on to the palm rest or you can call the touch pad here this whole thing go ahead and remove the four screws and also you like to and you want to disconnect the uh, the ribbon cable so flip open the clip and there are four of them. Once you have that done, you can slim, simply pry open the plastic cover. Kind of work your way around all the edges. Once you have that pry open, and this plastic cover, the palm rest will just come right out. Okay, at this point here, the battery and hard drive is exposed. There are two screws that holds onto the battery. And the battery just come right out. Okay. And for those of you who wants to remove or replace the hard drive this is how you get to the hard drive by just sliding it towards yourself okay slide it this way all right so at this point here pretty much everything is um, what I needed to do so if you like the video um, please subscribe and give it a like and thanks for watching good luck on your repair